Welcome back to the channel. It is six o'clock here in Kentucky. And as you can see, there's a little bit of light left and it is 26 degrees out here. So as you can guess, there ain't gonna be no fish on this video either. But what we're gonna do is go back to the desk. We're gonna sit down and we're gonna look over my personal favorite jigs. So let's get at it. Get in here inside this warm house and check out the light went off and we are dark. So let's go check out some jigs. Uh, um, I'm gonna kind of go over about four jigs uh, that I like fishing. Uh, more so this one jig that I fish most of the time and I will show you that. But the four jigs we're gonna go over is gonna be skipping jig, flipping jig, swim jig and a football head jig but first we're gonna start out with this beauty right here in a shad color uh, I guess you could say it's a bluegill color bluegill shad color I have a trailer done on it but this is a swim jig and your swim jigs as you can see the head of it is tapered like and the uh, that allows it's like a you know slender head real slender right here and that allows the uh, the, the swim jig to move through the water uh, a little bit better you know it's kind of like a blade style so it, it swims through the through the water it has a real light weed guard on it uh, fairly stiff hook fairly stiff hook on it and the trailer I like to use on these is kind of like the, let me see if I can get the skirt down here. It's a chunk, chunk style trailer, you can see here, but it has the uh, the curly Q like deal, so it just lets it wiggle through the water a little bit better. But that there is designed to imitate, like I said, bluegill shad bait fish. It's designed to, to imitate the bait fish and it's the the it's best to use these type of jigs around light cover uh, you're going to be swimming it like on top of grass you know you're going to be swimming it around grass through light cover uh, fishing it kind of like a like a spinner bait or a real shallow crankbait uh, that's what your swim jig is and they make different kinds like I bought this swimming jig you can kind of see the the head on it it's a little different shaped it's kind of a wild looking color. It's got a rattle on it. Uh, and this is the uh, white shad color from Booyah. I ain't never fished with a jig head like this. So that's going to be kind of interesting to use. The next one we're going to jump into is let's go with a skipping jig. Now this is more like your skipping jig. It's going to have a flatter bottom on it, and it's going to be more rounded, but flat on the bottom. You can see carrying there, it's 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 flat, and that's going to allow it to do. Uh, if you if you ever skipped rocks on water, that's basically what you do to this: is you you skip it across the water, get it up under docks, uh, hangovers, uh, into brush piles, uh, up under slips. Uh, pontoons this uh, whatever you want to skip it skip it under and and the reason you skip jigs up under stuff like that and you can skip you can skip worms like this too and stuff uh, a lot of people don't fish up under there so when you know when it's real hot or something other the fish are congregated around shade or up under uh, cover around cover you can skip these jigs up in there to get uh get the bites that that other people ain't getting i don't fish a skipping jig much uh, i don't have very many of them because i use a bait caster and if you don't get it just right you're gonna it's just gonna blow your spool up it's just gonna give you a backlash like crazy but that is the skipping jig now we're gonna move into the flipping jig 
and I use flipping jig some, uh, but it's not my go-to jig. But here you go, let me get my hand out of the light where you can kind of see. This is more of your flipping jig. It's going to be more rounded and more tapered like to get down into the grass. It's usually going to have a, a pretty good hook on it, a good weed guard because you are flipping it down in some heavy junk. And the, the trailer that you would kind of use on them would be something like this. And that would just give it more of a slender body. Uh, you might not want to use some with a lot of appendages sticking out of it because it was sticking to grass. But they got different style. You can see this one's a little bit smaller, a little bit more of a tapered head to punch down into the grass. But this one has a, a real light kind of hook on it. And I've cut the weed guard down on this one. But uh, you'll be fishing this mostly on braided line because you're going to be down in that thick, nasty stuff, flipping around brush, stumps, uh, flipping into uh, pads or, or matted grass, weed line. You're going mostly fish this on braided line. And you can see it's kind of got the line tie on this one, kind of covered up where you, where you won't get snagged on stuff. But that one there is the flipping jig. Now we're going to move on to the jig that I use the most. And that is the football head jig. The football head jig, the reason I like using it is because it imitates uh, like crawdads or a lot of people call them crayfish or you know whatever. But uh, around here we call them crawdads. It gets, it, it imitates them like super good when they're down on the bottom of the, of, of the water. And you, football head jigs, they excel in like hard bottom, real, uh, real hard, hard cover. They they roll over rocks real well uh, through sticks, brush, wood, and, you know, they work perfect. Throw you, throw you a trailer on it, imitate that crawl. You know, you got the pinchers, boop, boop. Pinchers on the crawl. Uh, you can throw the, the big, the big, uh, trailer on it here but there's a uh, different style football heads uh, you can tell this one's a, a real bigger foot real big football head but this one's kind of got like little eye looking deals in it uh, I don't think it really helps none but this this one's hook you can see if it's like sitting on the water it's more pointing up but those are all right but I like more of the flat style you can see this one's flat. Let me hold this one up here like this. You can see the difference in the hook. I like the flat style more uh, because it lays more on the bottom and it more imitates a crawl, a crawdad like that. And when you jerk it, you know, the, the crawdad uses, you know, swims backwards. So when you got the, the pinchers here, when, you, when you're when hopping or, or pulling it across, those pinchers are up and it looks just like a crawdad. And it can also, depending on your color, now like this one's a brown and a little bit of purple in it. Uh, this one's more like a PBJ color too. Uh, you can get different colors of the football heads, or you can get different colors on any jig, but they imitate more of a crawl or like a bluegill. And that's, you know, it's dependent on uh, where you're fishing it at your uh, your jigs uh, the reason I like fishing jigs and that's my go-to bait is uh, a lot of bites when you throw them out there especially in the summertime when they're feeding real good and when they're really active a lot of the bites come on the initial fall so you gotta like watch your line closely to detect a strike on the fall uh, what you want to do on when you're when you're flipping when you're using your your flipping jigs these these jigs here not the football heads but, the, but the, let me get these out here the flipping jigs you want to try to enter the water as quiet as you can and that's you know anytime you're flipping you're you're trying to get it right on top of the fish so you want it to kind of you know enter the water as as quietly as you can so you don't spook the fish and uh 
like these jigs don't be afraid to fish them uh, on heavy cover uh, since heavy cover usually holds your bigger bass uh, year round you know throw them up in them wood you know throw them up in them brush piles throw them up in that grass up under docks you're probably going to lose some but don't be afraid to lose them uh, you know that's what they hold bigger fish you know heavier cover usually holds the bigger fish and uh like on uh, uh, real muddy water, like this one here, this is what you would kind of throw in real, real muddy water. The color wise, not the style head, but the color wise, uh, your black and chartreuse colors. You know, this has got chartreuse in it, black. You kind of want to throw your red and blue colors. Now, in your like stained water, that's more like around where I'm at. Uh, your black and blues like this one here black and blue or this one here that was black and blue uh, that's more of your stained water which I do fish you know PB and J uh, this one's like kind of like a watermelon color or uh, pumpkin seed or something other like I do fish those around where I'm at and you're like super clear water uh, I fished, you know, Dell Holler before, and they they got real clear water. Uh, you want to throw more of your uh, your natural colors, like this, you know, bluegill shad color, uh, your greens, your browns, the real natural colors in the uh, in the clear water. Now on trailers, uh, you kind of want to match, like say this one here. You, you know, it's kind of a greenish flake real oops sorry real light brown this is kind of the trailer I'd want to I want to kind of match the color let me get this around here kind of match the color of the trailer and the jig uh, like this one here you know I got the uh, the grayish color with a black blue flake or I would throw the white on this uh, your black and blues I would throw this black and blue on but you don't have to match the colors. Uh, switch it up a little bit, you know. Fish like kind of different things. So if you're throwing something a little different uh, that somebody else hasn't thrown, you might get the bite that they didn't get. You might find that uh, that maybe putting this white trailer on this PB and J, you know, that's something that they ain't seen. So they're like. You know, what is that? So they go over, check it out, and eat it. Uh, you got, you know, all kinds of different trailers uh, that you can you can put on these. Like I said, the, you know, the big ones, the big ones here. Uh, this one's a little bit smaller compared to the white one here as far as the size. You can tell the size difference. You know, you want to kind of match, say, like this, this black and blue here. It's kind of a smaller jig. Uh, probably three eighths ounce. I'd want to throw a smaller trailer on it. Some of your finesse jigs, you want to put a little smaller chunk on it or whatever. And I like putting jig chunks on all my all my trailers in a little bag here. And I got all kinds of, of different colors: avocado. You got your green pumpkin blue. Here's some reds ruby red the one I was showing you there a while ago is a root beer pumpkin green or root beer pepper green whatever you want to call it that one I have on my swim jig there is a bluegill color then I have another one of the root beer uh, you always got to have a lot of trailers because you're going to be losing them you know you get a couple good bites on them uh, some people put uh, some super glue like right here to hold that trailer on uh, but most of your jigs do come with some type of trailer hook like this one I don't know if you can see it there you got that little deal here most of them have that some of them have a little bit different different shape let's see here like this one has like a little tapered deal on it uh, some of them have a wire sticking out uh, some of them has let's see here I got like this one here has got a rattle on it and you push it up under there to that little point I don't know if you can see that little point but you push your 
trailer up under there and some jigs like this you know has a rattle on it I don't know if you can hear that sometimes that helps sometimes it don't uh, like this jig here you can see I got like a little crawl like a crawl on it they work real well uh, that's kind of it on the jigs uh, I kind of hope hope you guys that that might not fish these that uh, are kind of intimidated by them or something another get out there and throw them uh, you're not going to catch numbers on jigs they're more of uh, size you know it, you ain't going to catch well I, I ain't going to say that because you could catch 10 or 12 fish a day but the jigs are going to bring your bigger fish and that's why I like fishing them that's why I don't catch a lot of fish because I fish a jig a lot I like fishing jigs and one thing I have been experimenting with like your Senkos I have been sticking Senkos uh, on some of these you know you run them down you run them down straight like that you know it's a big long deal with the skirt I've been kind of experimenting with that uh, we'll see how that goes hopefully we'll get some uh, some more videos for you guys uh, fishing it's been tough around here man it's this cold weather but hey thank you guys for for the the new subscribers that subscribe to me I, it means a lot and I appreciate it uh, hopefully this channel keeps growing and it, it's off from from you guys uh, thank you and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're watching this go down there hit that subscribe button throw me a thumbs up and we appreciate it and hopefully you'll see me on the water soon see you on the next one